some of the etiquette and do's and don'ts when you're coming into the cellar door. Keep in mind that it is a cellar door and it's not a bar. When it comes to uh, drinking, we do try and keep it to a certain limit. When people have tried the same wine and they try it two to three times, you are here to actually sample some of the wines that the winemakers spend a lot of time on. Make sure that you book into a restaurant and actually make some time to actually have something to eat. It'd be very important to have a meal before you taste a lot of wines. Make sure that you have a designated driver for the entire day, if not find other modes of transport via Uber or taxi. Don't bring in bottles of wine or other drinks from other wineries and hide them in the, in the toilets once you've finished drinking them. Unfortunately, it does happen. It's not a common occurrence, but it does happen. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you come to the cellar door, we don't want to pressure you to actually make a purchase. If you find something that you like, great, take it home with you, enjoy it at a later date. However, if you don't find anything, not a problem at all. So if you take all that simple advice into consideration, yourself and everyone else will have a good time enjoying wine at the cellar door.